do all of number one um, in one video, so I'm not do I'm not going to do one for A, B, C, and D separately. Um, the cosine of 390. So remember, 390 is bigger than one time around. So if you subtract out the 360, we're really just looking for the cosine of 30 degrees. So you can see that 30 degrees is right here. Remember, cosine is x, sine is y, tangent is y over x. So the cosine at 30 degrees is just this x coordinate right here, which is root 3 over 2. All right, the tangent of 135. So we find 135, which is right here. So I'm going to be doing the y coordinate over the x coordinate, which is going to be positive root 2 over 2 over negative root 2 over 2. You don't need to do keep, change, flip here if you recognize that this is exactly the same as this thing. When you have something divided by itself, the answer is 1. Uh, we have to keep in mind that there's a negative right there, so the answer here is going to be a negative 1. Negative 60, so you can either go to positive 60 and then reflect it, so we're right here, or you can take 60 degrees away from 360, which puts you right on 300. So I'm looking at this point right here. The sine is the y-coordinate, and so the y-coordinate here is negative root 3 over 2. Okay, and then the sine of 150. So 150 is right here, so we're looking at this ordered pair. Remember, sine, again, is the y-coordinate, so the y-coordinate there is positive 1 half.